Good morning guys and girls. Thank you Jennifer for watching. What's today's video going to be about? Well, it's about Ross. He's a guy just like you, or girl. He goes out and buys a speed fight, or generic moped, um, with a small fault. Um, gets it home, fixes that fault, and then goes off to the MOT station, MOTs it, because it's fixed to have a little bits and bobs as well, and then it occurs another problem, and then it stalls, it's noisy, and things seem to escalate down to where it drove him mad. So what's wrong with this little one now? Well, when he first bought it, it didn't electric start. That was the only fault that he was told. So he pulls the brake in and he gets a little click noise. Now he typed in me and found my video on electric start. And he traced it that it was no click noise. It's got the click noise and found it to be the starter motor. Bought a new starter motor. Happy days, worked for a couple of days, and stopped. Now he's got nothing, driving him mad. But this also has other faults with it as well. One that I've done many times before, kickstarts, or doesn't. He's saying intermittent, he can come to it one day and it start, next day it doesn't start. The exhaust in here is very, very loud. Now, I've done a video on that, please search through. I will be fixing it on this one as well. Basically, the wadding in the baffle goes really hard, doesn't do its job anymore, it lets all the gases out. A noise exhaust isn't just noisy, it doesn't just piss the neighbours off, it actually is not good for the bike either. The gases, as you get them, push straight out of the bike, so there's no back pressure anymore, and this causes problems for acceleration, it causes problems for starting, and also causes problems when you're full whack. The bike just chuck everything out, there's no back pressure to push the piston back down again. I've done a video on it, watch it. On this one here, I'll be doing it as well. Starting or not starting? Carb, electrics, all sorts of little bits and bobs that can be. We're going to trace them in the next video um, and find out what they are. Because it's going to be a long video and I don't want to bore you guys with a 17 minute video. So this needs looking at today. It'll be the electric start while it's not starting. I believe that he said that he put a second starter motor on this. The other one works fine as well. But also it's just not going there. So... As in my video, you know it's clicking, so you know that it's getting here, it's just not getting to the starter. So it's going to be off, checking it works manually, and wiring. That's what it's going to be. Um, he says, not very fast. This is a liquid-cooled version. These should be quite rapid. He's saying it revs up and then stays at a tone. Now, if you remember the last video where I showed you about the clutch, he'd watched that one. Thank you. Um, but I think, that actually, that if you take the clutch plate off, there are like three brake pads on it. They may be worn or dirty, but it's not going to the next gear, as it were. So we need to look at the engine itself. Um, piston, compression test. What called, I know, but it's still made a look at it. It could be worn. We're going to look at the rollers, the clutch, and the belt. We, we look at that, easy for me to say. The Bendex as well, as well as the starter motor. The exhaust, that's got to be done, so I'll be taking that. I've got some wadding up in the corner there, so I'll be re-wadding that. Got that right. I will be checking the water system as well, make sure that's filled up, because people forget it's in there. But is it topped up, and is it all okay? And then giving this a once-over. So all the panels are going to have to come off, okay? Um, seat bucket out, get it along as well. Now, um, obviously, it wouldn't start with the old uh, spark plug, which I should have realised it was in my hand. That's what I probably would start. Anyway... It's very, 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 very black. Okay? It's a brand new. He hasn't got the link pipe on. So just the airbox itself. Without the air um, link pipe, this should be running quite weak. And yet it's not. It's very rich. So carburetor adjustment is a must on this one. I've also got to see how it's set up. He said it's got a 62 jet in it. I had someone contact me saying, my bike says 72 jet. Well, I want to say that I've opened hundreds of carburetors. And normally all these have between a 54 jet, a little bit bigger. I haven't found one with a 50 jet in it before. That's really restricted. Um, 60 to 64 is quite good for these. 72, wow, that's big. Um, but again, if it runs with that jet, who am I to say any different? I don't like the sponge air filters, as you know. This has got the original air filter, which is much better in this weather. Um, definitely look at that. So we're going to, in the next video... I should have done that. Next video, I'm going to be doing what I said today. So, carburetor. The guy said to me also, he's watched my carburetor video, and he doesn't know how to put it back together again. Matt, mate, there's five or six videos on these carburetors, you know, and it may came where I've gone a bit quickly about taking the bottom off. But he's got a problem with the carburetor flooding. Well, that's going to be the float. 
okay? Now, first off the vacuum, as I said, suck one end, the top one, and it'll pour out in a little cup, and if it stops and starts, the vacuum's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. You can put an inline filter if you want to, although it already has a filter in the actual vacuum. They do get old. The next bit, obviously, is it's flooding out, that's simple to say your float's not working properly, and the float literally turns on and off. But that may go up and down. There's a little pin inside there, and the rubbers perish. Remember, some of these 10, 15 years old. You cannot get hold of them. You have to buy another carburetor. I've looked high in hell for them little pins sometimes. So if your carburetor's flooding sometimes, unfortunately, you're back in the yeah, second-hand carburetor. What do I think of the Chinese cheap carburetors that are on eBay at £29 for these? Yuck. Now, I always say one and a half turns out for the carburetor. People find that you have to leave the, the actual air petrol screw all the way in. And that is right with them. They're sucking air everywhere. I don't like them. They are hard to control and they will foul. Um, I've had to cut the bikes with them on before and they do run perfectly. And I think, well, no matter what I try with a brand new one, I found oil in them where they're just not pressed properly. Um, and little bits and bobs with them that really annoy me. So I always try and say stick to the original carburetor. Clean it, make sure it's all right. Sometimes they're knackered, you're going to have to buy a second hand one because I don't make them anymore. The relays, you know, £5 on eBay and the guy went to a main dealer. 40 quid! 40 quid! <clears throat> That's a lot of money, old um, Ross. That was a lot of money. So I'm going to play with this one. I'm going to strip it all down in the next video. It will be a long one, I guess, because I will actually do all the bits that I've found wrong with this bike and hopefully get it running and make someone very happy with this one as well. Last one, guys. Front headlights. On a 50cc, you have high beam and low beam. On a 100cc, they came with side lights, okay? Some people, and I've actually got a loom somewhere around here, actually, that have got the side lights in them. It doesn't matter if you have them or don't. You can put them in if you want to, but they're not necessary. It won't drain in more power, um, and someone just put a 100cc one on here. That's all it means. Um, so that's why it's a bit odd. They're dull because they're side lights, 501 bulbs, or however you want to pronounce them, wherever you are. So, guys... Okay, thanks for watching my videos. I guess some of you actually watch them just to see what I'm going to come up with next. And uh, thank you for that. It's more like a weird deal of the series or something, isn't it? See what rubbish we're going to come out of next. But guys and girls, take care of yourselves. Wait for my next video. That'll be over the next couple of days. And it will show you all the bits wrong with this little bike. You take care of yourselves.